your local weather authority. Always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. Hi there, friends. I'm meteorologist Jeff Hanowich. One reminder for you that we do indeed have a severe thunderstorm warning in effect for parts of Bland, Carroll, Pulaski, Wyth, and Floyd counties. This is in effect for about the next 40 minutes or so until the top of the hour. Locations impacted include Fort Chiswell, eventually Pulaski. I will tell you that this cell really never looked that intense and it continues to weaken as it moves to the east at about 20 to 25 miles per hour. There actually appears to be more thunder and lightning with the cells that are just north in Bland County along I-77, also along Highway 42. You'll notice also as we expand the picture for you, it's relatively quiet in places like Lynchburg and Danville. Uh, for now, at least you're just seeing uh, mainly cloudy skies and some fog, but the uh, bulk of the energy right now in our mountainous locations. Let's show you future tracker and I do think that we're still going to have the chance for some off and on light scattered showers as we head into tonight. OK, nothing really all that heavy is going to happen for us beyond about 8 9 PM. As we continue to go through time, notice even at 7 a.m. we're still going to have some passing showers possible. Not everybody gets wet tomorrow morning. And as we head into Tuesday afternoon, not a whole lot looks to change. We're going to have some pop-up showers around. Don't think we're going to have any thunderstorms tomorrow. I think we're going to be a little too cool for any thunderstorms. But again, some hit or miss showers will be possible on Tuesday. The activity winds down Tuesday night, and then by Wednesday, that looks to be a drier day, maybe a stray rogue shower. But for the most part on Wednesday, we're just going to see skies turning partly sunny. So a little more sunshine for us on Wednesday in comparison to what we have out there today and tomorrow. Then by late week, we're going to see even more sunshine. And oh, by the way, we're going to start to warm things up too. But we're not going to be fully dry. We're still going to have that chance for a few showers and or thunder showers late week with that chance for rain increasing as we head into this upcoming weekend. Saturday. Sunday scattered showers and thunderstorms will be around as a couple of low pressure systems will get a little bit closer to us. So chance for rain goes down mid to late week only to go back up again by the weekend. Temperatures right now stand 68 in Roanoke, 69 Withville, 61 in Hot Springs. You're in the low to mid 70s out across Martinsville and Danville. And therefore, if we can get any of those showers to move into south side, those showers could transform themselves into a couple of thunderstorms here for about the next two to three hours or so. Let's go uh, region by region for tomorrow. We're looking at high temperatures likely staying in the 60s for most of us. South side, you may be able to squeeze the lower 70s, but zone by zone tomorrow, it is just it's going to be a pretty cool day virtually everywhere. OK, record cool highs can be established tomorrow. It's a little bit of a long shot, but it's not on the realm of possibility, especially in Danville, where we're forecasting 71. The record cool high temperature for the day tomorrow is 70 degrees. Everybody else is going to get close to these record cool highs, but I don't think you're going to get there. I think Danville has the best chance of having a record breaking day tomorrow. Actual highs through Wednesday, 60s and 70s. Keep in mind, average highs at this time of year in the 80s. It's going to feel more like mid October out there for the next couple of days. And as I said, as we look ahead to the weekend, warmth does come back into play for us. So for tonight, clouds, fog and or drizzle overnight lows, mainly in the upper 50s and low to mid 60s. Tomorrow, scattered showers still around high temperatures in the 60s and lower 70s. Tomorrow looks to be another cloudy day. Don't expect much sunshine tomorrow. I do think we'll see a little bit more of it as we head mid to late week. Notice that we're partly sunny Wednesday, Thursday, even into Friday. More clouds again this weekend with more scattered showers and thunderstorms likely. Looking to the weekend, Sunday looks a little bit wetter than Saturday at this point, but we'll be able to fine tune that forecast as the weekend draws near. We don't much care for the, the dry weekends this summer, do we? Uh, it <laughs> happened all